RAS is a proto-oncoprotein in that um, in its wild-type state, it is required in the cell, but in certain mutant mutated states, it can lead to cellular transformation. The, um, the mutation of RAS is a very common genetic marker in cancers. On average, 30% of all um, cancers have RAS mutations, and in certain cancers, the incidence of mutation are actually much higher. I believe it's 60% of most lung cancers have um, RAS mutations, and upwards of 90% of all pancreatic cancers have RAS mutations. And these mutations um, do lead to cellular transformation, and often in conjunction with other uh, factors that stimulate the, the, the malignancy. But it's not just RAS that's found associated with these cancers, and it's, it's not just this lipid-modified protein that's associated with cancers. There are many other lipid-modified proteins that, when mutated, can lead to a cancerous phenotype, and they include things like um, the RAS-related molecules like Rho, um, and uh, there are other diseases also associated with uh, defects in the processing of these lipid-modified proteins as well. So this class of lipid-modified proteins that I've been working on this many years truly represent new molecular targets that one can um, try to interfere with when trying to develop new strategies to um, inhibit disease and to treat disease.